What's going on guys, Brandon Hyden here. Hope you're having a great day. It's currently the 30th of December and we just received a package in the mail. I hope everyone had an amazing Christmas and are all prepared for the festivities of the new year. Personally, I'm going to a sick event in Bristol called Motion with a group of friends and Mo Samuels who also has a channel. You probably know him, you've seen him on the channel before. My last final blowout of the new year before we get serious and almost prep begins 10 days after the event but i'm still going to be taking things a little bit more seriously at the beginning of the new year just like getting my diet back in check making sure i'm eating sufficient nutrients again and continuing to have a little bit of time off the gym as you know i'm having two weeks off the gym we're currently about four days into that i've got about 12 days left and the good news is my collarbone the feeling is almost completely gone i've got like no feeling there right now i can't feel any like pain because i don't want to go into prep training every single day sometimes twice a day and be worrying about a possible injury so I want a complete body recovery before we do start prep on the 10th of January but that's an update now we're going to unbox this package to see what we have inside Right, so as you can see, we have an absolutely massive package from Legend London and they have not held back this thing. It's so heavy and so big. They have packed this to the rim. <laughs> I actually already opened this before. I actually tape it back up for the effect of the video, but we have a black pair of jeans, a ripped blue pair of jeans, a regular pair of blue jeans. We have this red Legend London hoodie, one of their new gray jumpers. Next, we have this black denim jacket, which I've actually been wearing for the past two days and it's so freaking comfy. The fluff that's around the collar actually continues through the whole of the jacket which i think is like super good quality we have the same again in denim and I'm, I'm not being funny but they're so like thick and dense like you can just feel the quality in these jackets next off we have i've already actually worn this jumpers with a print right there and then finally we have the same red hoodie again but in white we're going to try some of this on now to show you guys how it looks and fits on me Now, I've been wearing Legend London clothes now for about the past year. You guys probably know of Legend London from me primarily because of their jeans, because they produce jeans for guys that have probably a little bit more muscle than the average person. Their quad to hip ratio on their jeans is designed for people that have like maybe bigger quads that squat, go to the gym and struggle to find clothes in regular stores because the ratios aren't fitted for people that go to the gym like me and for you. As you're gonna see in this video, they've come out with a whole new range of denim jackets, hoodies and jumpers. This is really upmarket stuff, so it's quite expensive, but for the purpose of this video, they have given us a discount code of 15% with the code HARDBODYLEGEND. They have not given a discount code for the entirety of the life of this company because it's really upmarket stuff. I'm a massive believer in paying for the quality, but with the discount code that they've given us for this video, it's actually like a really decent price. Everything they've sent is an extra large. I'm six foot one, currently weighing in at around 232 pounds as an indication so you know how they might fit you. But with that being said, we're gonna try a couple combinations of the clothes, show you guys what I like about them, and then we'll get into the main topic of the video. All right, then guys, so the first outfit option is gonna be the black jeans, the oversized white hoodie, and the blue denim jacket. In love with some of the details on these items, with the aglets being branded on the actual steel tip of the drawstring. The studs on the jacket, they actually have the new Legend London logo imprinted on the studs. I'm a perfectionist, so I can really understand the time and effort that's gone into the design of these items. Then we have the jeans. As you can see, they fit super well. They hug the quads really well without being too uncomfortably tight. That's one of the things I love about these jeans is they look tight but they don't actually feel as tight as they look it's hard to explain you'll know if you have a pair this is the first outfit i'm not gonna lie i'm feeling myself a little bit in this i quite like the denim jacket and the way the hoodie like you know it perfectly fits over the collar 
of the denim jacket. But um, yeah, now for the second outfit, we have the same concept as the first, but just different colors. We have the black jeans, the red hoodie, and then the black denim jacket. I just kind of like the whole concept of the denim jacket over the hoodie. I think it looks pretty cool. Now with a lot of denim jackets, as you know, denim is a really tough material, but for some reason, this shit's actually stretchy. They've like implemented the same elasticated material that's in the jeans to make them so flexible into the denim jacket, which I think is freaking sick. But um, yeah, this is the second concept. Same detailing on the studs and the embroidered logo on the Legend London hoodie. This was outfit number two, and now for the final one. The final outfit combination is gonna be their ripped skinny blue jeans, white hoodie with signature print, and again, the black denim jacket. The jeans fit really well. They hug the quads the same as the black ones. Obviously, with the blue ones though, you can see a little bit more detailing. The rips on the jeans themselves, there's enough but not too much it, it's just enough to give the whole fashion aspect the last thing you want is people seeing more leg than actual jean same detailing on the stud of the jeans and the black denim jacket i'm also a massive fan of the distressed look around the sleeves and over the jacket and i like the way they perfectly fit my arms because i struggle to find clothes that fit my arms. i've got quite long arms you know when you buy a suit and you want the shirt to just show a little bit over the jacket this is like the same concept i really like it so guys that is going to be it for the legend london haul i have never done a haul video before so i'm sorry if this literally sucked i've never like done like a try on with brandon before this is the first one i'm probably not going to do many of these in the future but legend london have been so good to me over the years and now they're being good to you by giving you a 15 percent discount there is a link in the description do not forget and it would alarm you how much i'm actually sweating right now trying on all these outfits this is just like i feel like i've done my cardio for the day but with that being said this is the end of the haul now we're gonna get into the main topic of this video I right think guys, now we're gonna get into the main topic of this video, which is gonna be the title and the thumbnail. It's something that I wanted to touch on based on the response I got from the video that I posted two weeks ago, which was hitting a PR on bench press completely off cycle. I've been off everything now for about two months. Did a PCT after my show, because obviously being on something for the entirety of a prep, it's gonna take a toll on your body. So I think it's really important to not blast and cruise because when blast and cruise, it means you're on cycle and then you cruise on like maybe like a low dose of test. But personally, I don't really think that's optimal for health purposes so I like to you know come off completely let my body heal and just get my natural levels back to what they should be and then obviously get back on prep again in the next week it made no sense to me that I was PRing on a bench press and deadlift and squat honestly I've hit so many PRs over the past couple weeks that it's blowing my mind that at my least efficient state as far as like strength goes like I should be the strongest when I'm on if any of you guys have any knowledge on why this has happened please drop it in the comments down below I'd like to have a conversation about it just to like inform myself on why this could be actually happening so you know drop a comment down below and let me know why this shit is happening why am i stronger now when i'm taking less shit well when i'm taking no shit it, it makes no sense to me but regardless i kind of want to talk about how it's affecting me mentally how it's affecting my body and yeah my mental state i feel like if you're ever going to go into the route of taking that kind of supplementation you need to be completely content with the idea of not looking your best when you come off because there's no way as human beings we can look super pumped super lean all year round and stay healthy because it's it's not healthy for the body it may look good but your body's dying inside it doesn't want to be that lean it doesn't want to be that shredded it, your muscles don't want to be that full your body wants to chill out it's almost going to be screaming inside at the final stages of a prep because looking like that all year round isn't healthy so you want to be completely content with the idea of just like not losing your gains but just not looking amazing all the time me personally i'm in a really good headspace right now i'm completely content with the idea that i'm not going to look as good as i did on prep because i'm not training the same my supplementation isn't the same my diet isn't the same i am enjoying my life right now i'm eating what Whatever I want, waking up whenever I want, and training whatever I want. I go to the gym now to have, I mean, when I'm on prep, I still go to the gym and have like fun. It's more regimented. There's there's a schedule. There's certain body parts that I have to hit. There's weak points that I have to build up. You know, I guess two months, I've just been, you know, enjoying life a little bit, enjoying some good food and enjoying like good company and spending time with my friends without taking everything too seriously. But in the new year, everything is about to change. If I'm going to be completely honest, when I started my last prep, I started off strong, but when it comes to the very end, I let myself down. I cheated on my diet a few too many times. You may have seen in the competition prep video over my abs and my glutes, I was holding a little bit of water. That's because I cheated on my diet three days before I filmed the video and I didn't have enough time to let the water drain away and I let myself down. I realized this when you know when you go for a show, you have to like get a tan, so you have to shave your whole body so the tan can settle on the skin. When I shaved the hair, off my stomach, my, like, my snail trail and stuff. I looked down at my abs and this was the day before the show and I was like, I can't step on stage like this. I'm 
I'm not ready. I documented the whole process. I'd held myself accountable for the whole 12 weeks and you guys were also holding me accountable to step on stage and to portray the physique that I had developed over the 12 week period. There was no going back on that. And I put myself in, I put myself in like a, a corner and I really felt the pressure of letting myself down. I realized that I fucked it up. I really did mess it up. And I'm really looking forward to Jan 10th when we get to go again, prep again. We're not doing 12 weeks, we're doing 16 weeks. And this is my chance at redemption. Really learning how far I can push it and how lean I can get and what kind of person I am in the sense of if I set a goal and at the beginning of that goal, I'm, I'm full of all this motivation. Am I the kind of person that can pull through and finish and come out on top knowing I did everything physically possible, regardless about what other people say, regardless about what the judges say, can I step on stage next year? Even if I come second, even if I come third, even if I don't place, that I literally put every ounce of blood, sweat and tears and possible injuries and everything into that prep like did I put the extra effort in did I do everything humanly possible if I can stand on the stage next year and know that I did everything I could then the placing never matters as long as you did everything that you could do which is what I couldn't stand there and feel last year I was proud of the physique that I bought I was super happy with my body composition and the package that I did bring to stage but it wasn't as lean and it wasn't as like full and big as I wanted it to be which is why this next year is my chance at redemption and I'm really gonna bring a package to the stage that you guys have never seen before and probably may not even think I'm capable of right now. Maybe I don't even think I'm capable of this yet, but we're gonna do whatever it takes to, you know, get to that level of physique and really bring something that will blow you guys away. But um, yeah, I just wanted to touch on that, obviously, my supplementation, how I'm feeling mentally, and my mindset going into the prep next year. Another thing that's gonna make the whole prep next year a lot easier is the fact that I'm gonna have my own place. Now, this may seem like kind of silly, but obviously, when you're in a house with my dad and my brother, and they're buying all kinds of food, it plays with your head, because you see them, you see everyone eating around you, eating certain things, and it's almost temptation. It's, you know, it, it's tormenting, because you can see everything that you can't have, but obviously, getting my own space, my own apartment it's gonna be great because the only things in the cupboards are gonna be what I choose to put in them like it's gonna be what I choose to buy there's gonna be no temptation around me which is gonna be obviously really beneficial when it comes to the night time you may be watching a movie you're chilling out and you start to get really hungry because you've already eaten all five or six meals a day you've got no macros left for the day but you're craving as well about my new apartment, when I spoke about like getting my new apartment and the fact that I was willing to spend what I was willing to spend, my budget on an apartment is about 1,500 per month, not including bills. So including bills, it could be upwards of maybe like 2,000 per month, which is substantially more than you would even pay for a mortgage. Why am I not getting a mortgage? Why am I not putting that money into a property? Because obviously renting is dead money. You never see that money again, but when you get a mortgage, it is a glorified bank account. Sub a little bit of the interest you do pay on that loan from the bank, but really Realistically, all the money you put into a mortgage, when you sell the house, you get it all back. So why not get a mortgage, right? Why not get onto the property ladder? There is a reason for this. Basically, I haven't been self-employed long enough to be able to get a mortgage yet. I've been self-employed since April. To be able to get a mortgage, you have to be self-employed for at least two years. So I can't even get a mortgage until I'm like 23 and a half. And I'm 21 now. I'm 22 on January the 5th in literally like five days time. So I'm actually not really excited about being 22 because I feel like, you know, when you're 21, like you're still like 21. I don't really know how else to say it, but you're still like 21. As soon as you get like above 21, you're 22. And it just doesn't have the same feeling. I mean, I know I'm by no means getting old, but I'm not 21 anymore. 22, January the 5th. Someone commented on one of our videos and they were like, dude, you've been 21 for freaking ever. And I'm like, yeah, I know it's been 360 days so far, you know, five more days and we're there. <laughs> Regardless, that is why I'm renting. That is why I'm not getting a mortgage. I know it's a lot of money. I'm only gonna be renting for the next probably year and a half. And while I'm doing that, I wanna have fun with it. I wanna be in a space where I'm really happy. Like, but you need to understand, I do not need a lot of space to be happy. This right now, this is, this is my bedroom. This is my dad's spare room. And I've been here for the past year and a half, except for obviously when I've been in America, in Boston with Brittany, this is where I stay. I don't need a lot of space. I don't need a lot of like, you know, luxurious things. I have a, a, like a, a little mirror there. I've got a TV over there with a little drawer. I've got a wardrobe in my brother's room. My wardrobe isn't even in my room. I don't even have that luxury. Regardless, this is all I need. I need my space. I need you guys. I need my cameras and I need my babies. I've got three of them 
camera over there. <laughs> but um, regardless, like getting a new apartment, I feel like I'm in a position now where I want to enjoy myself. I want to have my own space, something I can be proud of. It's almost like a milestone, you know, when, like in the journey of life, there's like certain things, certain milestones that you set for yourself. If it's social media, hitting like your first 100,000 followers or buying your dream car, getting your dream place, or for me, like buying my dream camera, which I had the chance to do a couple weeks ago. Can you see the quality difference? This is one camera. It's a lot wider, but this is crystal clear. I had the chance to be able to splurge some cash and obviously get that for myself. This apartment is a similar sort of thing for me. So that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. Supplementation, mindset, going into the new prep, why I'm renting, all that kind of thing. Tonight, I'm going to Bristol in the next hour and a half. I need to edit and upload this video before I go. So you're watching this the same day it's been filmed. Meeting Mo at the hotel. We're gonna go for a workout, get some food and then go to Motion tonight, which is the event that we're gonna be spending New Year's at. It's gonna be a sick time. I'm excited about it. I hope you guys have an incredible New Year's. Enjoy yourself, New Year's. It's such like a special time to me. I want you guys to set some really good goals for yourself. I want you guys to set goals that seem unrealistic and I want you guys to do your best to destroy them. Unrealistic goals in the pursuit of them are the ones that make us expand as human beings and help us get closer to the people that we eventually wanna be one day in the efforts to achieve those goals. So guys, have a good night. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed the video, please smash the like button. If you haven't already, join the Don Squad. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I like this two camera thing. Let me know if you like this two camera thing. Yeah.